Hi, this is a very quick uh, video about this um, project. We have a melody element, we have harmony element, and we have groove element. Um, we'll start with the harmony element. Uh, we will set the key in class. You will pick a key. It will be, have at least two sharps or two flats. This is the key of D. To choose our chords, we will follow this harmonic function map. This has to be a one chord. We're in our relative minor key, so we have to start with a one minor in the key of B minor. So there's our first chord. Then you'll choose the rest of your chords in B minor. Then you'll go to the relative major, which of course is D, and you'll do your chords there. Once you have the chords chosen, you can move on to the melody element. So now I'm back, I put in some chords. That's a tonic function chord, that's a subdominant function chord in minor. That's a tonic function chord, and that's my own choice there. And then I went to a subdominant function chord there. Then the next uh, phase is to do the melody. Um, if you use what's called the filter under the edit menu, you can choose just, you can say none, and then you can choose to just copy notes. You can say okay, then just copy which, whichever melodic pattern you want to use. Copy it like that, bring it over here, and only the notes would come over. Then you decide on your pitches. Uh, notes which are a whole step above a chord tone are going to be available tensions. So you can see I put in my, uh, here's my melody, I can check out, see what it sounds like. Okay, then I can take that same melody, which is still only copying the notes, put it over here, and I can do something very simple, I could do a sequence. notice that this note sounded a bit bad that's because it's a harmonic avoid note it's a half step above a chord tone so we don't want to emphasize it so in a case like that we'll just change the pitch and it'll be fine okay I got a good beginning to my song I carry on like that I get all my chords and then I decide on my drum groove and there's a, uh, a series of grooves I've made available to you they look like this, and you can also just make up your own, but you should show it to me before you commit to it. And so some of these grooves are on this page are simpler because they're constant 16th notes, and on this page is a little bit more complicated because we have a variety of note values in the hi-hat, and, and there are also some longer patterns, but some of them are pretty cool too. So whichever one you choose, you just have to remain consistent to it. Uh, for the rest of that section of the song, the minor key section. I'm just going to choose this one. I put it in. Oops. And now I have a drum groove. Then I, now I write a bass line that goes with that drum groove. Now the simplest way to do this is to simply copy the kick drum rhythm and put it on one note initially, which is the root. Got this. And then, and then you can decide on some different notes after that. So then I'll just copy it here, a G or lower it to be a G. So as you can see, I've taken this rhythm of the kick drum, I put it on the roots of these chords and check it out. Okay, then the first thing I might want to do is put in an approach note, a note which moves by step into its target. And then I might want to vary some of the pitches, maybe grab a, a fifth of the chord instead of just playing only roots. And maybe um, I've got a, I could always use a seventh as well, but I've got a seventh here as my, um, as my passing tone. So I think I'm good. And then I can do the same thing here. And if I can't go down to the fifth because it's too low, I go up to the fifth. And then whatever my next chord is, my next chord's a D. So I'm going to use, I'm going to figure out a, a passing tone into that. 
And you, I also have the option of deciding to put in a double chromatic approach if I want, which would be something, as you know from our previous work, something like that. And that would go into my D, which is going to be next. Then you're off to the races. So that's the process. And then you would, you know, go into the um, relative major key here. You have a lot more choice over here, but what's suggested is that you follow a stepwise bass for the first five chords. And I can help you with that in class. Uh, you would need to use some inversions in order to accomplish that.